Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. As always, we're sponsored by Eric Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on our platforms. We're going to show you how the news is done. Before we get to the lead story, i got to point out something to you. You cannot make this up, folks. This is the Kentucky Inquirer. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The Kentucky Inquirer, for the last 10 days, 10 days, They've had stories about what's going on in Washington here, there, and everything else. They haven't written one story. USA Today, Gannett, hasn't put one story in the Cincinnati and Kentucky Enquirer about what's going on in Washington with Hunter Biden, James Comer's committee, and Joe Biden. Not one story. You wonder why I'm doing Eric Dieter's local news? What I'm trying to do for you and me in our community is have a real candid news, not this crap. Is that not unbelievable? Now we're gonna cover the stories and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. Lead story, good story. Nicholas Wilt, this is the police officer that was shot and survived, was a hero at the National Bank in Louisville. After 100 days, he was released. He obviously, his life's never going to be the same, but he's alive, he's waving, and they wheeled him out of the hospital. All the best to this guy. All the best to this guy. All right, a Kentucky woman has been sentenced to nine years, <laughs> followed by three years prison release by sending her neighbors threats. Susan Kraft, 55, Louisville, sent multiple threatened communications. Nine years. That'll teach you. All right. Norwood police arrested a man, this guy right here, uh, Joseph Howard II, uh, for strangling his father. He's in trouble. <laughs> a shooting investigation is underway in northern Kentucky. Uh, this happened out in Campbell County uh, around 830. We don't know what's going on. More details to follow. I'm going to make fun of our local news again. First, the inquiry. Uh, all the television stations in Cincinnati area, 5, 9, 12, 19, announced the Emmys that they won. <laughs> it is so pathetic. Emmys. Like, they're like the national Emmys. <laughs> the same people bragging about these Emmys won't ever do a story about anybody that spends money with them. Like the corruption at the hospitals. All right. Uh, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana are among the top 10 states with the most drug overdoses. How do you like those apples? What do you, what's your political leaders doing? Um, in uh, less than two weeks, uh, it's time for candidates to file to run for local school boards. 100 candidates have already filed in the surrounding counties. These school board races are going to be big, big, because of all the national politics that's come around to it. Uh, Owen County Sheriff's Office is requesting help and public assistance in finding 26-year-old Shelby Melton. She's 5'1", 130 pounds, blonde hair, blue eyes. Let's hope she's safe. Boone County Fiscal Court Commissioners dealt with redistricting issue. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to read an ordinance for the first time, adopts a full report of the reapportionment of commissioners' boundary lines, where they all run from. Not super big deal. I'm going to mock this. Duke announced they're donating 50000 to Ohio and Kentucky agencies for heat relief. Really? A monopoly? All that money? 50000 And we're supposed to, guess what? All the local news gives them the press. Four U.S. Bank branches are closing. However, three of them are inside Procter & Gamble buildings and one's in another building. So this isn't like your local branch branch closing. I guess uh, not enough people at Procter & Gamble or banking, who knows. Uh, I really, I, her first legal job was working under me. And uh, she got out of the, uh, prac the firm work and went to work at general councils like Pomeroy and other places. Christy Nelson was honored uh, by the American Cancer Society Golf Classic at Kenwood. Um, she's a wonderful human being and she lost her eye to cancer. Can you imagine of all the cancers you get, you get eye cancer. She had to have her eye removed, tons of surgery, tons of medical treatment, treated with the best out of state and survived. She says she doesn't wear the patch to uh, 
allow her to share the story, but Christy Nelson's a good person. Um, Campbell County Republicans, they had their big meeting last week. Uh, my good buddy Steve Cunningham's already resigned. My good friend Myrna Eads is part of the charge lead. <laughs> Anna Zinkon was served with papers to, um, uh, to they're going to they're gonna take her out in a vote by, the, by next month. Uh, so she's been put on notice, but it's hysterical. This is so funny. I supported people on all sides of this. <laughs> oh, well. All right, nearly $48 million facility in Boone County is going to bring 144 jobs. The rich just keep getting richer. Matrix Pack North America. Production of paper straws, lids, cutteries, and to-go containers. Mitch McConnell says the National Defense Authorization Act Friday is going to benefit Kentucky. Lots of good pork for us. Lots of improvements at Fort Campbell and other places. This is sad. Mayfield was voted one of the worst places to live in America. Of course, they got hit by a hurricane, 8,000 residents. Apparently, one of the problems is they got a high crime rate there. All right, this coming Saturday is the Fancy Farm Picnic. Don't go. It's a waste of time. It's the most overhyped, overblown bunch of political blown. But all the Kentucky political media go. It would be like a thousand people there to listen to these speeches. And all they do is tear each other down, boo and catcall. It's a joke, a complete joke. Come to a real political event, Patriots Day Freedom Fest. All right, Tyler Childers and Silas House collaborated on an Appalachian LGB2 love story in your love. This is supposed to be like a uh, response to in our small town. It's about two gay coal miners. I wonder how this is going to go over in uh, Pike County. I'm just asking. By the way, nothing wrong with the gay thing, but the way they just got to just throw it in our faces, don't they? LBG2Q, got to do it everything. All right. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron, who's the Republican nominee, uh, says he's against illegal aliens getting benefits. Good for him. Mitch McConnell, major announcement. He said he's going to keep on running, keep on serving. He will serve out his turn. That was just a little lightheaded. There was no big deal to it. By the way, the Republicans passed a bill that basically would make, you have to pick from the party, but if Andy Bashir gets a chance to pick them, they're going to ignore that law and we'll be in a legal battle. This is funny. Kelly Kraft has been donating to like every Republican except Trump. She's given to DeSantis. She's given to Haley. <laughs> But not Trump. I think she's a little bitter. Get over it, Kelly. Didn't endorse me either. All right. Uh, 87.5 million have, uh, Medicaid's taken from people after they die. I'm telling you right now, Ohio Medicaid is screwed up. GOP mega donor pours millions in the effort to hinder the abortion amendment. Big old Republican money. Now, this is sad. Same with Medical Center, all the money they make. They're closing the St. Elizabeth Birthing Center in Dearborn County. Sorry about your luck, Dearborn County. Just remember, St. E sucks. And in sports, Jonathan India went on the uh, IL. The, and you know why? Left foot plantar fasciitis. Let's hope he gets off the injured list. Also in sports, oh my God, folks, you can't make this up. Look at this shirt. <laughs> the Reds. <laughs> The Reds minor league. I want this to be a cut. The Reds minor league team. The Chattanooga made this shirt. Nuga. But you know what everybody thought. So they canceled it. But you got to ask the question. Who designed this shirt, made this shirt, and wasn't thinking about that? It's like the Bud, the Bud Light thing, man. You know, how does this happen? Nuga. <laughs> it's the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great one.